Roy, when you win a lot, you develop a nous and a wherewithal to get over the line in, in tight games. Is that what we've just witnessed? That's exactly what we've seen, the experience we've had over the last few years, um, knowing how to win games, the experience, options off the bench, just really one kind of real lapse from Arsenal, they got punished for it. And also, it's, it's good to win football matches when you're not your very best. There is a lot more to come from City, I believe. I don't think they were their, their best tonight. But as we know in the Cup, it's about getting the job done, winning, and you're in the next round. As and, simple as that. And also did well first half, but were, were you disappointed with what happened in the second half um, from them? I, I think we, got, yeah, I, I think we, we didn't we didn't quite get at them enough. We didn't quite get to the, get the ball in that midfield area and get Saka, Saka going. Obviously, Saka went off, Martinelli came on off, Trossard, I thought we'd done pretty well, but I didn't think we threatened them enough. I think when, when they scored, we seemed to get a little bit more ball, but... They seemed to be in control of what we were doing. We didn't really threaten them as much as I thought we could have. When you look at the goal, there was a party-sized hole, was there, not <laughs> in the middle of the Arsenal midfield, which wasn't there in yeah. the first half when the goal hit. Yeah, it did, it did seem like, when you see Alvarez there, it seems like he's, you know, he's picking him up. And obviously, any striker worth his sort is going to turn and shoot. I think Jack Grealish's vision and capability of keeping the ball here and then noticing Aki, like, there, bam, that's a brilliant. And this is... That's a very, very good finish. It's a, a very calm. Look, look at the amount of space he's in. Someone's got to be there, whether it's Vieira, whether it's Lukonga. Someone's got to be that's um, too close. Easy, right? Yeah, that's yeah. no, too much. Too much space. I mean, it's easy there. to point the finger at Lukonga because no, yeah. he came on. No, but it's, yeah. it, 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 obviously you've got some defenders back there. Brilliant, obviously wearing his job by Jack, and it's like a striker's finish. But the initial ball into Alvarez, I think Arsenal lost their shape for ten or fifteen minutes with maybe some of the changes. Taking that in a way, it's a brilliant strike into the obviously side net. And, but just before that, almost just a lap, they almost were just having a breather at the wrong time. Yeah. Look at and it, it again. again. Yeah. yeah. Again, it's, like, it's, it's a carbon copy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, again, you, you see the midfielder, he's just a little bit too far forward there. He's gone too far forward. So the ball, passing that ball through to that space is, is too much too much space. It's just sometimes a bit of like that. communication from mm. the centre half to mm. your midfielders. It just, as I said, they just had a kind of. They switched off for maybe five or ten minutes around that time. You saw it actually towards the end again, and Odegaard turned around as if to say to Lukonga, yeah. you should be in here. Yeah, it, it you know, felt, you, it need, you like need to that. learn these things you like want to play at this level, basically. But you see, with, with someone like Sam, he needs minutes. He needs yeah. to be playing. He needs to be able to understand and be more wary of where he is and what he needs to do, where he needs to be dropping into. You've got to kind of sense that danger, and that's why he needs the minutes in games of this quality, because that's where you learn. But oh. you, you hope at this age and at this level, they've already learned that part of the game. You know, it's big concern. The train's leaving, you know, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if you're not on board, you'll be, you'll be somewhere else. Arsenal only had one attempt on goal in the second half, which was Vieira's volley. Just after that goal, they did come very close, though, with some great defending as Nketiah sniffing out a chance, because actually the goal brought Arsenal out of their shell, didn't it, for the last 25 well, minutes? they had to. They have to react. They're one alone. They've gone over the cup. You're expecting them to be some sort of reaction, but we were probably still expecting a bit more, mm. but they showed one or two glimpses again. A bit of, listen, some good play from Arsenal, as you'd expect. Great ball in. Brilliant defending. Great a little defending. bit of luck. Yeah, a little bit of luck. He's got something on it, but that's, you, you need more than that, yeah. you know, to, to beat Man City. Interesting. Trossard played really well. Martinelli signed a new four and a half year deal today, and it's as, as if Martinelli's gone. Mm, Trossard's playing really well. This competition for places is going to bring out the best yeah, but, in me. Yeah, but you say that, but like we're looking at Martinelli, who has been playing in this. Look at this is Carl Walker he's taking on. He's been playing like this all season, and this is what we all notice: is that Trossard is somebody that's not come here to to bench warm. And what it will do, it will continue to. Make sure that the players know that you can't rest on your laurels. That's the main thing. That's what Arsenal need to continue to, to, to move forward. And they've set such high standards over the last few months. I know it's a cup game to the league. So when you come and watch Arsenal, you are disappointed. Even though he's made a lot of changes, you are looking at him going, I, I thought we'd, we'd get more from Arsenal tonight. Mm -hmm. So they're disappointed. Team win. I were disappointed. I think uh, we could have got much more from the game. But um, an action decided the game. It was a really tight match, really competitive game. And um, an action decided the game. And um, unfortunately, we are out. Yeah, what do you make of the goal from Arsenal's point of view? Sorry? What did you make of the goal from Arsenal's point of view? Yeah, I think we could have defended that much better. In what sense? In the discipline that we need in the box to stay with our runners. Is the frustration, especially in the first half, that the opportunities that, that you created? Yeah. Not taking them. And even in the second half when we had uh, quite a lot of control of the game and we had big situations there, that we didn't put them away. And in those games you, you need to do that. What can you take from the performance though, in terms of obviously the match with City in a couple of weeks time? What do you need to take? 
Uh, we can take a lot of positive. I think the, the way we approached the game and um, and the way we competed in the game it was really good because it's very tough to do it against this incredible team and um, and we play face to face against them. Yeah, it's a sixth defeat in a row against Manchester City. That, that's the hard stat. But do you feel you're closer than ever to them in terms of level? Well, we are closer because in the last two games we play 94 minutes with 10 men. So that's absolutely true. Yeah. That's a little bit difficult against this it team. It is, yeah. But overall, then, in terms of the confidence that you've shown, you, you, your team have shown, what do you need to take for the rest of the season in terms of building from this? No, that in the, in the big moments, in big matches, you have to make the difference, and that's how you win uh, against these teams. And tell us about Gabriel Martinelli. A new four and a half year contract has been reported. Is that what's happening? No, I don't talk about anything um, about our players till, till it's done. Thank you very much, Thank Mikhail. You very much. Thank you. Well, he made the point that last season in the league games, Arsenal had a player sent off in both matches. Mm. On the evidence of what you've seen, are Arsenal closer to Manchester City than they have been? Yeah, of course they are, because they're a lot more structured in what they're doing. Players know exactly how they're playing in the system of what he wants to play. And unfortunately today, you know, we see with City, when City play like that, they, they keep the ball. It's not as fluent as we've seen City, but they'll keep going and they've got the capability of Jack... You know, doing that great bit of skill in there, obviously, the, the, you know, no, no pressure on the midfield. He's got his shot off and, and you know, they, they show the quality in, in those areas. And, you know, that's what Arsenal are going to have to do at some stage. When they play, I'll, I'll be looking forward to the league game simply because I think it's going to be a much more closer game. And we're gonna, I'm sure we're going to attack a lot more than we did tonight. Yeah, and it, it was hard to gauge it tonight because of the changes Arsenal made even before the match. You're sending a message that this obviously is not your priority. Arsenal obviously want to get that league title. He looked very disappointed Big, though. Yeah, that's what a man happy to be out of the cup. Let's this, be honest. this is what I'm talking about. When people talk about games in two weeks or three weeks, when you get beaten in a football match, you're going to feel that way. And tomorrow the players are going to be down for the next few days. I know they'll recover and if Arsenal want to win the league, they'll say, listen, we, we have to sacrifice this game. But when you make that many changes, particularly defensively, you're sending a message that's saying, we're kind of not that bothered, which is not a good message to send. Let's hear from Pep Guardiola with Gabriel. Pep, how do you sum up your team's performance? Uh, tight game. Second half was better. A part of 10-15 uh, minutes after the goal we, we score. Uh, yeah, really difficult opponent. They make a uh, man-to-man. It was difficult to make the process. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we won it. What did you underline to your team at half-time then that, that helped change the game? Well, we realised that it was difficult to make the process because our man free was the keeper and after you had to make an extra next line. But all the time with Erling we we'll, against you know, Holding or Gabriel or Saliba, so it's easy, no, no it's easy. But I think when the contribution, especially from Kyle, when came in and Bernardo was massive, was so important, and uh, they help us to, to have more control of the game and play long balls a little bit better. And Julian Alvarez comes on and helps make an instant impact, doesn't he, with the shot? Yeah, as a guy who moves really well behind behind uh, Kevin and really good uh, the action, the goal, he came from, from him and his, his presence uh, without the ball, so with the ball, so yeah, Julian is uh, the two games he played against the Spurs and today his contribution have been massive. Uh, uh, and, and tell us about Nathan Ake, match winner. I know he's had a very good season for you, but but, but for him to be the match winner tonight and, and the goal itself? He played good because he never complained. When last season he didn't play much, always with a big face and always in the training and do it was, was really, really good. And uh, if we are happy, there's no one person in the locker room that maybe, uh, no, I don't think so, but no person is not happy for him. So make a good call and control one of the dangerous players in the Premier League right now, like Saka, is really good in the box, is really good in the duels one against one, is so intelligent. So as a manager, one became manager to have players like uh, like Nathan. So he deserves all the good things in life and his profession and his in his job. Thank you very much. Well done. You're very welcome. If you want Man City, I think, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think when you look at it, we spoke about before the game about Pep's Criticism of the players a couple of weeks ago, they reacted well. These boys are you know, natural winners over the last few years, they're used to it. Mm -hmm. And it'll take a lot to stop them. Absolutely. See you tomorrow night, gents. Looking forward to that. Thank you very much indeed. Be sure to join us over the weekend for more Emirates. Done over the piece, did you deserve it, do you think?
Yeah, I think so. I think um, the second half we were a little bit uh, better. Uh, we played more, I think, a little bit of our game. Uh, it was tough, you know. Uh, they pressed us very high. Uh, it was difficult to play out. Um, so yeah, we, asked, uh, we had to use uh, Erling more than normal. And tell us about the goal, your goal. <laughs> yeah, uh, a good pass from, from Jack and uh, yeah, I think it's the first one I ever scored with my right, so uh, I'm pleased with that. Erling Haaland would have been pleased with that. Yeah, I think so, I think so. <laughs> just, just tell us about what this represents because you, you know the rivalry in the league right now. What, what boost might this give you for, for the match coming up in the league in particular? Yeah, I think it's good, you know, um, especially after uh, a tough period, but then after two good uh, good games uh, before this one, um, it's good to, to carry on. And I think, um, yeah, we take this as obviously a tough opponent and to win 1-0 um, at home, get through to the next round. And I think it gives us confidence for, for the next game and all the games to come. Have we seen the best, nearly the best, close to the best of Man City this season? No, I think there's still more to come. Um, I think today was more about uh, resilience. Uh, they're a very tough team, you know, they play very good football. And yeah, we stayed strong and made sure we didn't concede. Um, I think that's also another side we have to show for myself. Really well done tonight. You are the player of the match. Thank you very much. And the match winner too. Thank you. Yes, thank you.